Hello, I'm Darielle Snipes with the CMSD News Bureau. Welcome to CMSD 360, a look at news happening around the district for the week of October 2nd. Sunday is National Custodian Appreciation Day. This week, be sure to show some love to the CMSD custodial staff. These men and women work hard to make sure our buildings are clean and safe. And for that, we thank you. October is also National Principals Month. Please take time during this month to show your appreciation for our school leaders and the significant role they play in our district's success. If you honor them on social media, please use the hashtag thank a principal or celebrate CMSD. October is Ohio College Application Month. This is a great time for seniors preparing to graduate to start the college admission process by submitting at least one college admission application. This is an initiative by the Ohio Board of Regents and the American College Application Campaign to help graduating seniors navigate the college admission process. A part of that process involves scholarships and other financial aid. SAIS education applications and the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA, open for seniors on October 1st. For more information, go to clevelandmetroschools.org slash say yes. Tuesday is Manufacturing Day. CMSD students will attend the second annual Manufacturing Day event at the Great Lakes Science Center. Manufacturing Day presented by Rockwell Automation and Swagelock is a unique way to showcase the industry and expose students to career possibilities. Local manufacturing companies including Lincoln Electric, the Timken Company, and Sherwin-Williams will have volunteers to feature hands-on experiments, presentations, and panel discussions. Manufacturing Day is a nationwide push, typically held in early October, to show students what the world of modern manufacturing is all about. Well, walking is one of the best forms of exercise. That is why Wednesday, October 5th, is International Walk to School Day. Students are encouraged to walk to school to raise awareness and support for the health, community, and environmental benefits of regularly walking or biking to school. Wednesday is also Yom Kippur, a Jewish holiday known as the Day of Atonement. This ends a 10-day period of introspection that began with Rosh Hashanah. The Jewish New Year and Yom Kippur are two high holy days in the Jewish religion. On Thursday, CEO Eric Gordon's Student Advisory Committee will hold its first meeting of the year at Windows on the River starting at 10 a.m. The committee will be working with Cleveland Mayor Justin Bibb's office to help create a strategic framework for violence prevention. Lincoln West School of Science and Health seniors will receive their white coats on Thursday. The white coat ceremony will be held at the Lincoln West Auditorium at 10 a.m. Students will be cloaked with the white medical coats that signify their status as healthcare professionals. They will also recite the white coat pledge to be a learner, leader, and citizen. The white coat ceremony is designed to emphasize the importance of compassionate patient care at the very start of their training. On Friday, there will be no school for pre-K and kindergarten students, so educators can participate in a professional development day. Turning to sports, Senate League tennis preliminary and championship matches that were postponed last week due to weather will take place on Monday from 1 to 6.30 p.m. and Thursday at 4. Matches will take place at Jefferson Park on both days. For a full list of sporting events happening this week, head to clevermetroschools.org slash Senate League. You can also go to SenateLive.com to see which games will be live streamed. National Attendance Awareness Month may be over, but Get to School, You Can Make It Attendance campaign will continue. Students across the district are receiving great gifts for good attendance. Check out these photos of students at Charles Muni Pre-K through 8 school eating lunch thanks to Arby's. More prizes will be handed out. All students have to do is get to school. For more information, go to clevermetroschools.org slash get to school. Mark your calendars, parent-teacher conferences will take place on October 12th for kindergarten through eighth grade and October 13th for high school. This is a great time to see how your student is doing. On the day of their school's conferences, students will have no school. Caregivers, you should contact your child's school to set up a conference time. Also, students will have no school on Friday, October 14th. Well, in case you missed it, CMSD students who ride yellow buses are getting identification cards that will let parents trace when they get on and off the bus. Parents will need to download the app to track their children. Now, for all the details, go to clevermetroschools.org slash news. We'll stay connected with what's going on in the district by downloading the CMSD app or following CMSD on Instagram, Twitter, 
and Facebook. Thanks for watching CMSD 360. Have a great and productive week.